Hey, this is Nookie from GuardianTalesGuides.com, and this is my second attempt at doing an Arabelle video. The first attempt, for some odd reason, didn't record audio, and that sucks. However, <laughs> doesn't really matter. Um, just look, this is our Conquest board, and uh, here's our Arabelle. This is around 40 million a hit for us, which made eight attempts, kill the boss. Um, as you can see here, we only did the camps. We didn't do the levels. Because that's five attempts to do the levels, 40 million kill, or eight, I think, eight attempts to kill the boss. If we would have done the levels and the barracks, six attempts to kill the boss. It's 50 to 55 million a hit. And I know guilds that are better than us that did it that way, but I think we saved three attempts. They were going more so for overall points later on, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to check it out. Arable 1, this is our preset. It's pretty stacked for a light team. Um, not too much fat there. And that's what we're going to be using. Um, to go into this fight, how it works, um, basically what's going to happen is we're going to go ahead, go in there, we're going to wait for the first tick of the Doom Tower, which is at the top. Now the Doom Tower is unreachable. You cannot kill it. Um, I wonder if Claude could kill it with this thing, but probably not. Um, Doom Tower, at twice a fight, will tick down and hit this Doom thing and a pulse on us, inflict everybody with Doom. Gabrielle can cleanse it on her chain. So that's how we fight it, right? And um, But it, the main part of the Doom Tower is it interrupts your chains because it's specifically timed to interrupt your chain. So there's a few things we can do. So the primary thing, we're going to wait for the first tick of it before we do our first special. That's the first part. That's the best part. That way it won't interfere with our first chain at all. So that's one problem area relinquished, right? Not dealing with that. Second time, it will interrupt our second chain. We just need to make sure that we're all, we're kind of, you're in your group. Um, and it, like, when you get knocked away from the boss, you don't get knocked away too far to the point where you can't chain. Because it interrupts and knocks you back. And that's it. And you got to make sure that you hold your second chain like for three seconds. Because just like the light team, the chain, the way the chains build up, the stuns build up, if you immediately kept like weapon skilling to get into your second chain, you won't be able to do it because your cooldown for the first chain skill isn't up yet. So you just got to hold off. All right, first things first, we're going to go ahead and take out those towers. And we're going to do this the easy way, the easiest, most consistent way i found is just wait for that doom tick to happen and then you do your specials. You have to worry about anything else after that point. You have to worry about distance, you don't have to worry about dying, you don't have to worry about interrupts, which is the big problem. So if I special now, I'm just going to basically hold one special back. And then we're going to get it, we're going to get hit, and then boom. And then that negates the entire fight difficulty thing. You don't get as much DPS, but at the same time, you do get pretty good DPS. I mean, my highest is 42.7. So, I mean, the ceiling's not as high because you're missing out on a special. You're holding one special back, but you're not having to worry about dynamics. You can stay at distance longer. You can um, just bomb away. And that's kind of key in this fight because if you try to play into the way they want you to do the fight, and if you try to actually, like, you know, chain during that period, it's a, it's a pain in the butt. Like, I can't tell you how many videos I've done of this just trying to to make that work consistently, to kind of, because I, I, I want to make sure that, you know, like, when I tell y'all something, see, I didn't do it there, and <laughs> that's the problem. I'm totally talking and not paying attention. But, like, that's a good example, right? So, I tried to do it, and then I get interrupted, and then I go through all this crap, and then I'll probably die, whatever. But, my point is, like, that whole process right there is a huge pain in the butt. Like, you can do it, sometimes you get interrupted, but 
watch what happens just when you just wait for it. You just wait for it. You focus on the doom tick. Once you see it, you do what you got to do. So doom tick will always start your stun. That's the way it should be. Your full stun. So we got 47 built up. It actually helps if you hit the boss, but whatever. So we're a little out of sync, but I don't think it's really going to matter for this. And then we're just going to let Doom Tick happen again. And then once it does, we do our next special. Like I said, it is often nicer if you actually don't miss your special. So we're going to end up close to 40. So we've made that special. That's 41-ish, which I'm not complaining about. But I mean, that's all it is. You just wait for that doom tick. Don't do what I did in the second attempt there. And just just understand that, like, I made so many videos of this. I'm just trying to figure out the right way to do it, like, that I could hand it off to you. Because when I did my real attempt last night, I actually got, like, close to 43, and I didn't do this. But, like, I just got lucky. And that's kind of a lot of what Conquest is about. It probably deserves its own video, but whatever. So we're just chilling out here, not gonna special. We're gonna wait for that doom tick, missing out on specials, and then boop, we get it, and then here we are. The thing on Gabriel is you don't want to let it get too low, because healing is kind of a thing in this fight. She does put out a decent amount of damage. All right, so we're just waiting for that doom tick. Pop off. Let's go right now. There it is. And then boom. Start that. You don't have to worry about your timing on specials. You just go. We're so evolved. 38, 39. And then it just comes down to RNG at that point, right? So, yeah. I mean, that's the go to. But, I mean, if you if you want to go for the gold, because the higher ceiling is absolutely not waiting, right? Just pushing those specials as soon as you possibly can. But, I don't know, the safer way is just waiting for those doom ticks to special. I'm pretty pumped about this. It took me a little while to figure that out. So, let's see. Could have got a special in there. And there we are. See, I can, like, totally maintain distance like this. And then when you're up at the top, just try not to be too damn close to that tower, because you'll it'll suck away your auto attacks. So waiting on that doom tick. There it is. Uh oh, we gotta use Gabriel real quick or Nari's gonna die. Kind of forced into an awkward change there because uh, Arabelle focused on Nari, which I think is a good plan because we're gonna whoop that butt. Try one more attempt. We'll just do the same thing. And you don't want to clump up too much with your group because she will do her special and it will just destroy you guys. Potentially stun. There we go. That's our doom tick we're waiting for. So now we're just waiting around for more Doom Ticks. 
Trying to stay max distance. Do not take any time now. There it is. Didn't even see that one actually. I mean, 41.5, not too bad. But you can see kind of how the RNG just factors in. But I mean, that's the best way to do this fight. It negates almost all the difficulty. Just remember, stay away from the top too much because you're going to auto-focus, your auto-target auto the top Doom Tower, which is the one that you don't want to auto-target. And uh, stay safe, Raiders. Hopefully you do well in Conquest. I'm pulling for you. Adios.